Hey everyone, you probably know Meta, right? The powerhouse behind Llama 3. Well, they've just taken things to a whole new level. They're unveiling groundbreaking new research artifacts, pushing them closer to their ambitious vision, and it's all part of what they're now calling Advanced Machine Intelligence, or AME for short. But here's the kicker this new division is diving into robotics. That's right, Meta is gearing up to explore how robotics can amplify AI, bringing us one step closer to true AGI. And trust me, it's pretty awesome. Before we jump in, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to AI Gridlock for more updates like this. Hi, I'm Mike. And I'm Mustafa. And, and we're, we're working, working on, on Touch Perception, Perception at Meta Fair. Our MetaFair team is excited to release several cutting-edge developments in robotics and touch perception that mark a significant step forward in our understanding of the physical world and our ability to interact with it in meaningful ways. Let's begin with Sparsh. Sparsh is the first general-purpose touch representation that works across any tactile sensor and any task. To achieve this, we train Sparsh using 460,000 tactile images with self-supervised learning. In benchmarks, we find that Spursh outperforms task and sensor-specific models by an average of over 95%. Spursh unlocks pre-trained backbones that allow us to measure properties like forces and contacts which are imperceptible through vision. Our aim is to empower the community to build and scale these models towards novel applications. Which leads us to Digit360, a breakthrough tactile sensor that perceives the world with human-level touch sensing capabilities. With on-device AI, Digit360 processes information locally and makes decisions inspired by the reflex function in people and animals. This allows a sensor to respond quickly to various inputs, such as the poke of a needle or the flex of a tennis ball. It responds quickly to various inputs, mimicking the performance of a human finger, making it an innovative solution for multiple applications. We've also paired Digit360 with DigitPlexus, a platform that standardizes robotic sensor connections and interactions, mimicking the human hand's touch information processing for embodied AI. DigitPlexus provides hardware and software components for easy integration of touch sensing technology into robotic systems. Finally, we are partnering with Gelsight and Wanik Robotics, who are leaders in the industry, to develop and commercialize these touch sensing innovations. Our hope is to bring the community along and work together in driving the progress in AI and robotics. Beyond robotics, these advancements can help bring the physical world and the digital world closer together. Imagine picking up an object in a game or scanning a piece of fabric during online shopping. This could even lead to advancements in prosthetics. Our hope is to build a driving community and ultimately make touch sensing practical out there in the real world. This work brings us one step closer to understanding what it means to digitize touch. And that future is almost within reach. This is absolutely mind blowing. For the first time, we're seeing a major tech company zero in on something totally different from mainstream robotics. Meta is diving deep into touch perception, a game changer that's been mostly ignored until now. At first glance, you might wonder, what's the big deal? But think about it, this is something that could revolutionize how robots connect with the world and with us. Meta has a knack for focusing on areas others overlook, and this focus on touch could completely transform human-robot interaction. Imagine a robot that doesn't just hold an object but understands what it's holding. Today's humanoids may have hands that can grip and manipulate, but they lack the nuanced feedback that we take for granted. Human hands can feel tiny details, detect temperature, and gauge pressure, so when we touch something scalding, we immediately pull away. Robots currently don't have that instinct. They might hold a hot object without even realizing the danger. Meta's focus on touch perception means creating robots that feel what they're doing. Just like us, they'll know when to be gentle, how much pressure to apply, and when to let go. It's wild to think about, but this could lead to robots that interact safely and naturally with people and objects in the real world. And Meta isn't stopping there, they're integrating this with their AGI goals. It's futuristic, it's ambitious, and I couldn't be more excited to see where they take this. So here's something interesting I caught in Meta's recent blog post, which, by the way, I didn't even realize they had. But this blog post really shows how Meta is about to level up in robotics in ways we haven't seen before. In the video, Meta announced plans to partner with other companies, including one called Partner. Here's what's exciting as we move closer to a future where intelligent robots and advanced AI can handle everyday household tasks, it's crucial that they can work well with us. So Meta is stepping in with a new benchmark for planning and reasoning tasks that'll guide human-robot teamwork. 
They're calling this partnership a human-robot collaboration partner designed to study how robots can assist us in daily household activities. But they're not just testing in theory. They're actually training these robots as social embodied agents on real physical hardware with real human partners. It's a whole new level of hands-on interaction. Now, if you know anything about robotics training, you know it's a huge challenge. Usually, robots are trained in virtual simulations before hitting the real world. That's where Meta's Habitat 3.0 comes in. It's an ultra-realistic, real-time simulator that supports robots and humanoid avatars, allowing for human-robot teamwork in lifelike, home-like environments. Habitat 3.0 is all about putting robots to the test in real-world scenarios, and I think it's going to be a game-changer. So Habitat 3.0 might sound a little out there, but it's exactly the kind of scenario we need if we're going to deploy humanoid robots at scale. Think about it, we need systems that let us rigorously test these robots to make sure they're safe and capable before they ever enter our homes. Habitat 3.0 creates ultra-realistic, home-like environments where researchers can study how AI-driven robots navigate, interact, and assist humans in a truly lifelike setting. They're tackling some of the biggest challenges in real-world robotics here. This approach is incredibly important. By building embodied AI agents that can adapt to human environments, Meta is making serious strides toward a future where robots could seamlessly integrate into our everyday lives. But here's another twist this tech could open doors in unexpected areas, like prosthetics. Now, we don't often think about prosthetics if we're fully able-bodied, but imagine how this technology could enhance the lives of people who rely on advanced prosthetics. With AI-driven touch perception and realistic movement, future prosthetics could offer sensations and interactions that feel as natural as our own limbs. Now imagine this for those who rely on prosthetics. The integration of something like the Digit 360 could be life-changing. This tech has over 8 million taxels or tactile pixels capturing touch information in incredible detail. It could finally give users a realistic sense of touch right through their prosthetic we're talking about being able to feel pressure, texture, and even the tiny contours of an object. And that's not all. Digit 360 will come with temperature sensitivity, meaning users could sense heat and cold, which is crucial for safe interactions with their environment. Plus, it'll have vibration detection, letting users pick up on subtle cues like the hum of machinery or the roughness of a surface just by running their hand across it. But here's where it gets really futuristic with built-in AI. These prosthetics would process all this sensory input in real time. That means the prosthetic could react immediately, like a human hand does, allowing for quick adjustments in grip or movement as the user interacts with objects. Imagine being able to perform precise tasks typing, handling small tools with total control and dexterity. Now here's where things get mind-blowing imagine combining the Digit 360 with a BCI, or brain-computer interface. This could allow the prosthetic to interpret direct neural signals from the user, making it feel even more like a natural extension of their body. The potential for enhanced, natural control along with real-time sensory feedback to the nervous system could redefine what's possible in prosthetics. I think this is going to be absolutely incredible. We're on the brink of transforming quality of life for so many people. I, for one, can't wait to see how this technology evolves. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.